So for part of an MLK Day event, writer and activist ta Coates was talking to Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and she dropped a number of truth bombs that I think are so important, um, not just because the Democratic Party needs to hear this, but because um, this is actually probably going to piss them off, quite frankly. But everything she's saying here is 100% accurate, and I like hearing her say this because it makes me feel vindicated because I've been saying these things on the program now for years, but finally she is saying this, and she has a bigger platform than I do. So normal people need to understand that the United States of America is not the only country in the world, and when you compare our Democratic Party and our country to the rest of the world... It gives you some much-needed perspective, and she's going to drop a truth bomb in the sense that she's going to tell us what the Democratic Party really is in actuality. Take a look. In what you said earlier, too, I wanted to go back um, to what you said about our left party. We don't have a left party mm. in the United States. Mm. The Democratic Party is not a left party. Mm. Mm. Um, the Democratic Party mm. is a center or center conservative party. Mm. We do not advocate for, we do not, we can't even get a floor vote on Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. Not even a floor vote that gets mm -hmm. voted down. Mm -hmm. We can't even get a vote on it. Mm -hmm. So this is not a left party. Mm -hmm. There are left members inside the Democratic Party mm -hmm. that are working to try to make that shift happen. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right, it does convey a certain uh, sentiment about true believers. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there are a lot of true believers in that we can capitalism our way out of poverty mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in the Democratic Party. If mm -hmm. anything, that's probably the majority. Right. Um, and that's an area in which I agree with Dr. King mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that that assessment is flawed. Mm -hmm. um, That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Everything she said there is correct. The Democratic Party is not a left party. They are a center to center conservative party. That is exactly true. And people need to realize why this is the case. Take the issue of Medicare for all as an example. That was great for her to bring that up. We can't even get a vote on Medicare for all, even though we know it would be defeated probably. We can't even get a vote on it. And we have a Democrat as the Speaker of the House. Democrats are so out of line with the actual left, it's preposterous to say that the aggregate Democratic Party is left-wing. I mean, think about this. So even the Conservative Party in Canada and the Tories in the UK are to the left of Democrats on the issue of health care because, you know, they may want to covertly undermine their universal or single-payer health care systems, but they can't do it openly, right? They have to try to find ways to nibble around the edges and privatize it increasingly so that way they can get around public opinion, which would not like that, right? But Democrats, you have so many of them who aren't just openly hostile towards the notion of Medicare for all and single payer, but they're literally running against it and they want to be the nominee of the Democratic Party, the party that is widely viewed as the left party. That is preposterous. That would never happen. Can you imagine Justin Trudeau running against Canada's single-payer system? Can you imagine the labor leader running against a nationalized healthcare system, saying, I'm going to undo that so you have freedom of choice between public and private? I mean, the prospect of that is laughable. They would never do it. They would get obliterated. These parties would be wiped out. But yet, here in the United States, the notion that healthcare should be free at the point of service is something that is mocked. And all of the mainstream media agrees that Medicare for All is a bad idea when most of the de developed world has it. Now, again, that's not to say that these systems are protected because even in Australia, they've had a universal healthcare system, but they are increasingly privatizing it and it's getting worse. But if you honestly are looking to find anyone who is openly saying, I'm going to fight against single payer as they do in the United States, that politician's career would be done immediately. But yet we have Amy Klobuchar calling it a pipe dream. We have Joe Biden fear mongering about the cost as he votes for war after war after war. And it's infuriating. People have to understand that the Democratic Party is not a real left-wing party. And the only reason why they focused so heavily on being woke 
and focused on social issues is because that is the only like that's the only set of issues that won't offend their corporate donors. So they can talk about women's rights, they can talk about LGBTQ rights and not offend anyone in the corporate class because corporate America has largely embraced um, a lot of these social issues. But when it comes to something like economic rights, Medicare for all, having the right to see a doctor if you get sick, well, um, they're against it. Isn't that insane? And what's funny to me is that the Democratic Party, they desperately try to get the moral high ground, so they co-opt language from proponents of Medicare for All, and they say something like, oh, well, I believe healthcare is a right. Tom Perez says this, the DNC chair. But I'm sorry, if you truly believe that healthcare is a right, then you believe that it should be free at the point of service, because something that's a right can't be denied to someone or shouldn't be denied to someone if they don't have a dime to their name. So if you're homeless or you're an immigrant, if you don't have money, you can't see a doctor? Does that sound like a human right? No. So everything she says is just, it's on point, and I'm so glad she made this point, because when I say it, you know, it, my audience knows that that's true, but when she says it, it reaches a broader audience. People who respect her, who don't necessarily follow left circles like you and I, they start to really think, well, yeah, maybe that's true. Medicare for all is something that other types of countries have, or, or, or a type of thing that other countries have, and we should have that. Yeah. And she also says that they think that we can just capitalism our way out of poverty and other issues. This is the crux of the issue with Democrats. They are neoliberal to their core, right? Even someone like Elizabeth Warren, who the media, I think, incorrectly views as far left, she stood up and applauded Donald Trump when he said that we'll never be a socialist nation. We are so, so detached from the rest of the world and other countries. Like, I, I, I always see comments, like, on Reddit or Twitter from people who live in countries with a single-payer system saying, I don't know how you guys put up with this bullshit. Like, why aren't you in the streets? Because healthcare should be free at the point of service. Like, this is something that nobody else worries about. Other countries, their citizens take this for granted. But we have to beg the left party to get on board with this. It's just, it's infuriating. And um, people need to know that the Democratic Party is not a left party. They're a centrist, and then we have a Republican Party who is far right. Now, shifting gears a little bit, um, she talked about something else. She was asked about billionaires, and, you know, why is it that, you know, she's against billionaires, basically? I think that ta Coates was basically playing devil's advocate here. And um, she was asked about, you know, the prospect of someone earning a billion dollars, and... Her response here was just brilliant. Why specifically does, you know, I'm, I'm Joe Billionaire. I made widgets. I sold those widgets. I made mm -hmm. billions of dollars, you know, yeah. selling those widgets, making those widgets. Therefore, those billions of dollars are right. mine. Why am I the enemy of health care? Well, uh, you didn't make those widgets, did you? Mm. Because you mm. employ thousands of people and paid mm. them less than a living wage mm. to make those widgets for you. Mm. You didn't make those widgets. Mm. You sat on a couch mm. while thousands of people were paid modern day slave wages, and in some cases, real slave, real modern day slavery, mm. uh, depending on where you are in, our, in, in terms of food production. Mm -hmm. um, you made that money off, off the backs of undocumented people. Mm -hmm. You made that money off of the backs of. Um, black and brown people being paid off a living wage, uh, under a living wage. You, you made that money off of the backs of single mothers. And who, all of these people who are literally dying because they can't afford to live. And so no one ever makes a billion dollars. You take a billion dollars. No one ever makes a billion dollars. You take a billion dollars. That's just... That's slow clap worthy. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly it. Um, if you made a billion dollars, you're either exploiting the labor of your workers, you are gaming the system, taking advantage of tax loopholes, buying politicians. You can't work hard enough to earn a billion dollars. And even if you could, which you can't, but even if you could, you shouldn't have 
a billion dollars because that is so much money. That is such an unfathomable amount of money that even if you lived to be a thousand years old, you couldn't possibly spend all of that money. So Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has done more to shift the Overton window to the left than perhaps almost every single politician with the exception of Bernie Sanders. Her electoral victory shows you why beating all of these incumbent Democrats, primarying them, is worthwhile. Which is why we have to go for the top. Take out the leaders, right? Support Michaela Wilkes, who's running against Steny Hoyer. Support Shahid Buttar, who's running against Nancy Pelosi. And support the bevy of congressional candidates running across the country, primarying these corporate Democrats. So that way we actually can remake the Democratic Party in our own image, make a party that's actually left-wing so we don't have just two right-wing parties to choose from. We actually have a left-wing option in every election, not just in some elections where you're lucky enough to have a progressive running. So I'm glad that AOC said this. It's incredibly true. And to you and I, this is not going to be surprising. She's not saying anything that's groundbreaking, but to the average American who will hear her say this, to them, this is something that they probably hadn't considered before. And this is, you know, something that you have to say if you're going to make the case for left-wing ideas, because the prospect of Medicare for All seems scary to someone who doesn't know that this is common throughout the world. So educating people, letting them know that the United States doesn't just exist in a vacuum, it is one country among many, and this isn't some new thing. Medicare for All is single-payer, and that is not a new concept. It's tried and true, it works. This would save lives. So we just have to get people to rethink about politics or think about politics for the first time and get them to understand that it's not just, you know, Democrats versus Republicans. This is large moneyed interests against us because the Democratic Party, they're not selectively against the left. They've been bought into the positions that they currently hold. And I don't just mean that electorally, I mean that ideologically as well. They believe Medicare for All is bad, well, because they take money from the industry and maybe they don't even believe that. Does Amy Klobuchar actually believe that Medicare for All is bad? I mean, it's so common sense that you you find it hard to suggest that someone could be stupid enough to believe that, right? Or Joe Biden could be stupid enough to believe that the status quo is going to be cheaper in the long run than a Medicare for all. Like, they have to be either dumb or disingenuous. It's one of two options. But either way, people need to hear about the truth, and AOC is doing that. And I hope that, uh, you know, this is uh, spread far and wide because people who vote Democrat, who are loyal to the Democratic Party, need to know that this is not a party that is looking out for you, and they're certainly not left-leaning. They are centrist to center conservative.